in the beginning, when we open our sellers hub, we have 10 available listings. So let's say that we list 10 items. Do we put the quantity as one? Do we do them good till cancelled? Or let's say, do we put two items, but with five available quantities each? We have an option in eBay to use good till cancel. And once after we sell the item, the listing will still exist with zero quantity. This is the best option ever because when the client see some item and when the client see that you have enough sales there, when we have only one, he says, yes. oh, I will buy this because I like it and it's only one. If I wait till tomorrow, maybe this item will disappear. So this is regular marketing and it yeah. is okay to have only one. In the case that we put quantity 10, 20, 30, it is low chance to buy because a lot of clients say, okay, I, I will put this in the watch list and we'll think tomorrow. We have an options and items that are not okay to be sold only one, like chairs. Who buy only one chair? People yes. usually buy four or eight or six. So if we use this for a chair, we will, if, if this chair is not for a gaming or something, we will have a problem with that because buyer will come we will see one chair and we'll say, okay, but in my kitchen, I need four or six and we'll skip the offer that we have. So we need the, the first rule in the drop shipping is to think when you, we list the item. So mm -hmm. if we list uh, without the option, good till cancel and we still list six items, it is much better to use the option because without the option, some person come and uh, buy four. Okay, we have mm -hmm. two in yes. stock. We put them again six and some other guy come and again buy four and we put again six. It is yes. perfect. And we have already history that we sell four chairs two times to different clients. It is okay. But if somebody come at the end and we don't have the option good till cancel enabled and just buy the all chairs at once, this listing will disappear and the listing will disappear with the history. So mm -hmm. when we list this item again, we will not have history of, of the sales. So it will be very hard to create a history again. And I suggest, I recommend, highly recommend to use this option always, because if this option is turned off, uh, your listing will disappear after sale all the options and, and also about the software software when you sell the last item that you have sell it software just put another you sell the last one and software put another all the softwares work like that but if yeah, you don't have good to cancel like, um, enabled dropship beast or auto ds yes they also do this and nice at the end if you not use this option, the listing will disappear and software can't help you. And you Perfect. have only one option to lose your history and to release the item. Yes. Okay. So yeah, always, always use good to cancel. Yes. And we think how much items we must add. So when we list an item on eBay, what location do we put down for the item? Uh, is the location the business address or my own residential address? Of, of the yeah, you, you can actually use every address in the country. Nobody check it. I will share one trick with you. We put some address that do doesn't exist for the return. And once after the client sent the item to that return address and the courier go to the address and see that nothing happened. It's in one forest and nobody live there. Mm -hmm. So the item is back to the client and we didn't give the refund to the client. We do this right. in the situations when the client is angry and client left us a negative feedback before contact us. And after that, he come very angry and say, I want to return this item. And in this, this situation, we just give him a option to return the item, but to address that does not exist. So the client yes. returned the item we didn't receive it and we call to eBay and says, okay, but I, I, I can't refund this item because I didn't receive it. And mm -hmm. uh, eBay closed the case in our flavor 
and also don't refund the money and also remove the negative feedback. This is a trick here. Uh -huh. Okay, nice. That's that's good to know. Basically, I have an old eBay account, which I used to use it in 2017. Um, I haven't used it recently and I have an outstanding um, tax fee, sales fee, I think, for £1.50. I've already paid that fee, but because I owed eBay, eBay some money, would that have a, a bad or negative effect in the future? No, if you clear your balance once, especially if it is one pound only, you don't need to think that they will do something wrong with your registration. Usually they do wrong with the cheaters that didn't send the items that they sell and uh, receive the money, transfer them. Uh, maybe you know in the past a lot of people doing this uh, business, they sell a lot of items and scam eBay. They just receive the money in PayPal, transfer the money from, from PayPal to their debit card or bank account and yes. just stop working. And uh, with this type of cheating, eBay lose a lot of money. After that, annually PayPal at 30% every year of this money that you must return. If there are 100,000 this year, there are 130,000 next year. And maybe yes. someday when the amount grow, they will come and will um, maybe will have a lot of problems with, with this type of cheater. So uh, you, you must pay on time, but uh, if you pay everything, it is not a problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, one pound 50 on anyway. I've already paid it, but yeah, still. It's, it's uh, normal, more than normal to when you stop using your account and you need to pay a few bucks to forget about that. Yeah. In very short time, Nahar will be guest in my channel here, so he will explain uh, what new features to expect from Zeek Analytics for us. Mm -hmm. So it will be helpful. If you have any questions to Nahar, you can put them in the comments below. In the Amazon account, I used to buying products do I need to register a residential address? No, about Amazon buyers accounts, um, yes. they, they, are, they don't have any needs to use uh, your personal address. They can be created with, with any address. It's not a problem. We usually create them with our customer addresses. When we have a customer, first order, we just put this as a Amazon account address. It's not a problem. Dropship Beasts, is it um, like a good software to use? Because in the course you do mention SM Pro, uh, but uh, it's not updated, it's not used we anymore. We don't support SM Pro. A lot of people use it for uh, reports because we create good reports in Excel. Some of the people use it for the calculator. And yes. because of that, I, I still work on that software. But no, I, I don't work on that software. I, I still don't remove the website. So this mm -hmm. site is alive for the people that use the free functions of the software. Dropship Beast is good option. AutoDS is good option. You must decide yourself. The software is just a tool that you can use for something. It is only a yes. tool. So if you want to be very, very, very big seller using WooCommerce, CloudCard or Joomla, or any other tool. Just the tool is not as much important as the type of the business, the marketing mm -hmm. of the business, the products of the business. I have students that use Dropship Beats and they are okay. I have students that don't use any software and they are okay. So it's up to you. 